Hello all, and welcome to the combined video of kind of haul video slash the review of the 75007 Republic Assault Ship and Planet Coruscant. So the Republic attack, you know what, I'm not even going to do the name. Guys, it's the Acclimator, the only Acclimator that has ever been made by LEGO. And it is in a mini scale, which is super cool. It is quite the unique build. Obviously, this is from the Planet series, and the planets were kind of a really cool thing that LEGO had been doing there. You got the lone, the lone figure there from the set. The set uh, came with 74 pieces and retailed for 10 bucks. So basically, the micro fighter of old, but with you know an extra planet thrown in there. So you know it was pretty good. I kind of prefer these over micro fighters, honestly, because. You can kind of use that uh, acclimator build a whole lot more than you could uh, like a little mini micro fighter ship. At least in my opinion. I assume it would depend on the ship in question. But we also got some extra figures from my uh, friend Jack. I was able to buy a few off of him. So yeah, let's get into the figures. We'll start with the figure from the Coruscant planet set. This is the lone clone trooper and he looks pretty good. It's just a basic standard clone trooper. Nothing special about him, but he's special because he's a clone trooper and not a stormtrooper. At least that's how me and the rest of the world see it. You'll probably be wondering why the heck we see it that way and think that we are super weird. And that is completely fine because this guy is so cool to me that you have no idea how cool I think this guy is. Um, so yeah, there's really not much to talk about at all. Standard uh, clone face. Yeah, I hurt my finger a little bit. Uh, nothing too serious. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, standard clone face. Super cool. Not really, but like I said, this figure is so cool to me. You have no idea. Go to the back. Once you amass an army of these guys, it's 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 really awesome to just get more and more. So yeah, that is the lone figure from the Coruscant set. And here is another clone trooper I was able to pick up. So super awesome. Uh, that I was able to do that. Super happy with that. Uh, just another standard clone trooper. This one's a little different variant. It's an older version of this clone trooper. It's a Clone Wars version, so it's a little more animated, a little different style, but uh, I still love this trooper all the same. Uh, I really like the older troopers because I have a lot of the newer ones, but I don't have a lot of the older ones, so it's good to get a bunch of them. And I'd never really had any before I met my friend Jack, so. Yeah, kind of super awesome that I was able to meet him. But yeah, you got a different clone face that's standard for the clone troopers. Under there, you'll see the, the chest plate is slightly different because it's an older design. But yeah, um, I should do a full review on the difference between these two. But yeah, pretty awesome figure. Like I said, this one's so cool as well, just because he's a clone trooper. So the cool thing about this figure here that I got, he's a snowspeeder pilot. I'm not even entirely sure what his name is, honestly. Um, Maybe he had a name, maybe he didn't, I forgot. But I really would recognize his face anywhere and his distinctive gray helmet to me. This screams 2014 Micro Fighter Snowspeeder Pilot. And it's funny because I have the Micro Fighter Snowspeeder right here, but I don't actually have the figure because I traded it away a while back when I was just a kid and figures were a lot different value to me. Like I traded away my 501st Troopers because I thought the 212 were cooler looking. So yeah, uh, looking at the market nowadays, that wasn't a good choice, but um, I guess we got the 501st Battle Pack, so maybe it was, I don't really know. But you see, uh, I, I traded away and I don't really have one. I was using this guy instead of uh, the actual Snowspeeder Pilot. And I mean, it worked just fine. There's nothing crazy, but I saw that my friend Jack had this guy and I was like, well, I mean, Jack doesn't have the Snowspeeder. I have the Snowspeeder. I might as well try and grab the Pilot off of him. So yeah, I did. I forgot what I paid for him, but yeah, he's, he's a pretty nice figure. It's really nice and actually gonna be able to uh, have the actual figure go in the snow speeder like this is it's been a while it's a completely different figure from the original one but that i had but or maybe it's not you don't know maybe it's the exact same but yeah there you go completed micro fighter maybe i can actually do a review on it now but honestly who would look at a review of a micro fighter maybe someone who watches reviews of planet sets who knows okay so we have the uh very nice stand here but the stand actually isn't very nice in my opinion so um you have the stand it has this little piece right here which can connect to the bottom on the uh, instructions it shows that 
the uh, piece connects right there. The problem with this is that th there's too much weight on the back, so you're inevitably forced to put it slightly to the back. So I don't really understand why Lego wanted it to be slightly up from that, but this way works great. Um, it's, it's just a slight oversight on Lego's part. Nothing crazy, super easy, super fixable, but just kind of looks just like bad on Lego's part, just that they were able to, you know, screw that up. But then you got a super nice plaque here, as all the planets says do. It says Republic Assault Ship, Clone Trooper, Coruscant. So, you know, super good. Trademark on all three of those things, because, you know, it's Lego. Uh, and Star Wars. So let's take a look at the at the attack ship here. Uh, the Republic Assault Ship. This is the Acclimator class Republic attack cruiser. And I really like it, honestly. It, it, it's a little gray for me. Honestly, it's a little gray. I would have liked it had this piece been red and maybe a few other pieces on the ship. Like if this was red and this was red and that was red, that might be a little better. Maybe a little bit of red here. Overall, I think it looks great, but I just feel like it's a little too gray. This screams Empire to me, except for this back, which clearly is Acclimator. I mean, it's clearly an Acclimator from looking at it. I would just would just would have preferred a lot of red on it, like dark maroon red, as opposed to just straight gray the entire way across. But that's my main complaint with this thing. Other than that, I think the design is really good. It's, it's super basic, but... I mean, basic stuff is good. They're able to get that nice slope there, and they're able to really get the arrow shape uh, with this, um, I don't even know what this is supposed to be, but it's like this huge stabilizer fin in the back with the uh, single uh, bridge on the top. I think it looks really awesome. Um, nothing special on the bottom, but yeah. This, this set, this set, this little chip here is gonna go great with the mini, uh, Venator that they made that they came out with so that's super awesome and then maybe you could have the planet course on in the distance and you know have them going like this I think that's kind of the whole point of these planet sets but yeah I think it's a it's a great thing like this is the only acclimator they've ever made which honestly is kind of a shame because the acclimator is as cool as the Venator but honestly they don't even want to be making Venators these days so who knows um the planet here basically in the planet sets you get this little piece that goes on top i personally don't have it right now but you can tie a string to it and just have this planet just like hover in the middle of your room or something if you so desired and then it also has this small piece on the bottom here um i'm not really entirely sure what that's all about but the cool thing about the planet sets is all the pieces actually come inside the planet so yeah it's just a slight mold like that and yep folds up like that super cool and then i mean it's all the same, so it doesn't really matter which side you put it in. It's all gonna line up, so you can see the little circles there. Which is kind of nice, because a kid is, I don't know, the kid's probably not gonna notice something like that, but I would, so. The, that's the small oversight that they, they basically made it so it's impossible for the planet to look bad, no matter which uh, orientation you put it in. So yeah, pretty cool planet set and pretty cool haul. We were able to fix the micro fighter, so now we have an extra pilot, which is always nice, and we got an extra clone trooper for the army. So you know, plus two clone troopers for the army and a, another completed set. I don't see how that's bad. Plus you got a super cool acclimator that I'm definitely going to take a photo shoot with the other Venators like right now and put it on the end screen. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash the like, hit a subscribe, and I'll see you guys with that picture in a second. Peace out.